So hey, what's going on everyone? Kid here and today we are talking about Gilknir Chapter 60. Of course, Chapter 60 drops Saturday and we're here to talk about it today. The chapter is titled Claire. And that's going to be very important for you to remember because it gives you a guess as to what the chapter is going to focus on. So, for this chapter, I actually had to re read it a couple of times because it, there were some parts that were kind of confusing. I, at first, I thought it was a translation error. I think there is one that probably fixed it by now, but uh, it was kind of confusing. So, as it turns out, the blank leather that Claire got in the mail at the beginning of the chapter, that's because of Hanoka. She's been erasing people left and right. And as she, she notes later on in the chapter, there's a lot less people running around town. Speaking of Chi Chi, we do get the revelation about his parents and the stark, con the stark contrast between him and Claire versus how they feel about their respective parents. Chi Chi was really beating himself up over not noticing his parents being gone, whereas Claire seemed like she only cared about losing Chi Chi. One thing I'm wondering about, and it is kind of not clear for me, is how does Claire feel about Elena now that she knows Hanoka is the reason her parents are gone and it's not Elena's fault. She's been battling Hanoka for this however many months this has been going on. And that's, I guess they'll clear it up later on, hopefully. And <laughs> next up, we get the best question from best girl. Chi Chi, what color pantsu do you like? <laughs> and of course, he doesn't give us a good answer. Uh, it wouldn't be Gilfnir and Takeda that didn't sprinkle in some Okai and some comedy to lighten up the darker tone of the manga. On to the training montage, and I'm glad at least one of my predictions was true. Skipping ahead a bit, we have Claire really frustrated with not being able to fuse with Chi Chi, which led to a revelation about how the metamorphosis happens. So, Chi Chi, thinking back on his fusion with Yoshioka and Elena, both times they were in a do or die situation where he didn't want the person inside of him to die. So, but that's kind of hard to recreate. And again, we get a call back to this shot, and I really want to know what is this hint? How did Claire destroy everything? Well, we'll get to that later. Let's talk about, let's finish up the chapter. Claire apologizes to Shi Chi for, if you remember in the earlier chapters, kicking him off the roof to get him to uh, show his guilt in their form. So, I, this, these next couple shots, I, I, I get the idea coming from Claire, and they did have the coin as a backup, but still, shooting yourself to induce the fusion, you gotta have balls of steel, because you don't even know if this is going to work. But still, I can't say that fusion doesn't look bad ass. I really can't wait to see this in action. But, there's still that lingering question in my mind, will it be enough, because... While the first fusion was enough to beat Kaido, it's another thing to beat Hanoka. And that's... We don't really know how strong Hanoka is, to be clear. Because with... With Claire and Chi Chi being closer than ever, I wonder what's the next reveal to come. Because there is another reveal that they have left, and I have a theory about it, and forgive me if you've heard this before, if it's come up before, I think Claire might be the one who made Aiko kill herself, because if you recall from this shot from both chapter 1 and 46, 
this and the other characters have hinted at Claire having some sort of dark secret. And Elena did erase both she, she and Claire's memories. So that kind of doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I get erasing she, she's memories, but why Claire? And it feels like there is something that Claire didn't need to remember that Elena wanted to save her from. And the only reason I can think of it, and the only reason I can think for Shi Chi saying and doing this, and later with the shot they added Elena in there, is Claire bullying Aiko, or Aiko, into killing herself. And that's what Kaido meant, is her being a demon and she destroyed everything and this is all her fault now how she she is going to feel when he figures out she did that if she did do that mm, i think this will come up in the final fight to throw them off and maybe kind of break up their fusion at the last moment maybe it's kaido's last out to save his ass or Maybe Hanoko will say it. I don't... She doesn't have any memories from her past life. So... Yeah. It looks like the end is coming up pretty soon. I don't know how many more chapters the author will do. But hopefully the anime gets a season 2. We'll wrap this up with a go. And I'm predicting this is going to be a really polarizing but epic ending. The question is if everybody will survive to the end and who will, what is the author going to do with this love triangle that she, she has going on. It's going to be really interesting to see. That's the video. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Get subscribed as always for more content from me every Monday and Tuesday. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later on next week. Peace.